where today's episode takes us to the original Castle Rock Jail built 1907 yeah three cells one toilet very neat place very 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 neat place uh, stick around um, I got a nice clip of me inside there I was lucky enough to have someone here that I've met on previous occasions while out metal detecting and this has uh, great stories of the shell and out of all times to forget the SD card for my uh, action camera, I have to use my phone. Now this won't come out as good as my camera, but Nancy was nice enough to open the door. Don't anybody else be asking her to open the door. <laughs> this is the 1906 Castle Rock Jail. It's very dark in here, and you wouldn't want to have been here in the early 1900s. It is, appears to be, three cells. Boy. And one toilet. Look at that old thing. This is just neat history right here of our town. I'm sorry I didn't have my camera ready for this, but there you go. Built in 1906. I'm sure it housed a few uh, drunken lumberjacks throughout the year. But that was it. This is the 1906 Castle Rock Original Jail. Now, I always thought this was uh, transported here, but as I just found out, no, this was originally built right here. Okay, folks, if you like it, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll try some other time to get it on my actual camera. Look at that roof. Uh, no one has ever escaped from here. Oh, what's funny is there is a story here about uh, four uh, rambunctious soldiers that uh, drank some uh, moonshine. That was during World War I. They were on leave back here in Castle Rock, and they got arrested. And the town marshal, uh, Frank Freeman, was called to take care of him. And he arrested the four. As soon as Frank unlocked the door, the soldiers took one look inside the jail and turned on him. They threw Frank inside, locked the door, and headed out of town on the next train back to camp. Soon after, Mr. Poirier, a neighbor of the jail, heard poor Frank yelling and came to his rescue. Then there's other stories about how the original... This is one of the greatest stories here. What I'll do is I'll take a picture and get it in. Um, in case you're not going to read it, uh, they had a city ordinance that was passed back in 1890 to license, regulate, and restrain drinking saloons and other places of intoxicating liquors were sold or disposed of. It is said that at one time there was many as 13 bars in this little town. That's amazing. There's only two right now, but... Uh, 13 in this logging community so uh, city council pounced a bill to lease ground to build a new jail not to exceed the cost of $100 Hannah Hayward built the two celled wooden structure for $99, $99 excuse me he celebrated so loudly after being paid for that he landed in jail yes Mr. Hayward the builder became the first occupant of the jail some other just interesting facts. I'll put up some pictures and let you read this.